It's working. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, but before we start this video, a word from our sponsors. I'm going to drink our sponsor. Mm. Yes, we have no sponsors. We have no sponsors, except for so, our own sponsor. Cheers to cheers. the GCM team. Yes, yes. What are we doing here today? So, it's the end of the year, eh? Eh? Yes, it is. Yes. yes. 2021 was a pretty fantastic year, to be honest. I was. I think we had a really good time this year. I think so. Um, Considering. We ventured into a whole bunch of new RC stuff, which I wasn't really expecting us to get into. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's kind of um, yeah. what, uh, at some point, we'll talk about in this video is is the diversity that we found this year when it came to a lot of our RCing. <clears throat> uh, so here's uh, an overview of what we're going to do in this video. We're going to kind of recap what we're into in 2021, the stuff that we did, um, some of the stuff that we were able to participate in in RC. Uh, what you'll see at the end of this video is an actual video replay of some of the stuff the footage that we took in yeah. 2021 because we had a lot of really cool times uh in the with the rc community and doing some events and getting out on the trails and some some new new fun stuff so we'll recap that and one of the things that you will absolutely not see in this video is an ad from youtube <laughs> while i drink my coffee Truth i'll occasionally is, i'll occasionally drink my coffee in this video in case you're wondering. Truth is, uh, I, every year I do like a YouTube revenue recap kind of thing, and, and basically our YouTube revenue is kind of flat. Uh, we don't have mid-video ads because I also watch YouTube, and mid-video ads make me absolutely insane. They're annoying. They're super annoying when you're in the middle of a sentence and all of a sudden you're getting an ad for a Honda CRV or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> no thanks. No thanks. And uh, we have all that stuff turned off, so you can just, you know, watch us be crazy. And yeah, thank you to our sponsors. Yes, thank you. Appreciate thank you, you to all. everyone and our friends and our and the people out there who love RC. Yep. And are weird like us. What were we doing at the beginning of this year? Oh, geez, Louise. Um. I, I know think, I know what we were not doing at the beginning of this year. What's that? Going somewhere? Going to USDE. So I think for me, I was building in hopes uh, that USDE yeah. would, would be available to us. Yep. Uh, so I think at the end, uh, this time last year, I was building the uh, Schumacher uh, uh, Cat, I think it is. I forget the name of it now. That was a great car. That still nice is a good still, car. Still is a good car. And uh, I think I was finishing up Krieg, Dave Krieger's uh, blazer that I acquired and now have traded back to him. Thank you, David. Uh, after doing a bunch of work on it. So I was getting that ready, I think. What were you doing? You were doing this. You were heavy into C-Max 2. Oh, and, my goodness. And the release and the vehicles that accompanied that. And they are pretty yeah. remarkable. This being Some the prototype? This is the, uh, the beater, yeah. yeah. This was the typical, you know... I don't know, Asian built Jeep body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, love that. Yeah. And of course, the new chassis is not just for that. No. So, oh yeah, that's something I've been working on recently. Oh, geez. Uh, one of the things that we did in 2021 was we started the Patreon account oh, for yeah. the 3D printed design parts. For instance, all of these side trays and inner fenders and mount clips on the front and the back, all that hardware-y stuff, skid plates, all of that stuff is home 3D printable. Mm -hmm. uh, and in order to facilitate community around that 3D printing stuff, we had started a Patreon group. That's right. <clears throat> Patreon.com slash GCM Racing. So that's one new thing that we did in early 21. I think CMAX 2 is another new one for 2021 was it not c max 2 was of all part of that yeah, yeah because we had a whole new uh we had a whole new chassis mm. and because there was a new chassis there needed to be a, a new support group to set that up yeah and so that all came about c max 2 was basically all i did for three months yeah it's true <laughs> at the beginning yeah. of the year yeah yeah i never and, saw chris no and even still 
uh, there's still continual work on that. We just released today on the Patreon, yesterday, um, not this, but the extra cab Toyota mounts for C-Max 2. Mm. So you can really set up some pretty cool trucks with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the chassis are amazing to set up any truck. Yep. Yeah. And the development for C-Max 2 continues. There's yep. uh, two new setups that we're working on right now. Right. So I'm working on one right now. Top secret. Top secret. And very exciting. Yep. This was fun. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was truly impressed with the builds. I think they're some of the highest quality builds we've ever done. Not that we've ever had any issues with quality, but just the fit and finish this this time around with the C-Max 2 and those years of experience. Uh, it's just, they were beautiful. Those, those what were five olive green yeah. uh, C-Max 2s that went out at the beginning the of the year? The RTR builds, yeah. yeah. They were just spectacular. And of course, we teamed up with True North to... Uh, to detail them out and i'm telling you it was just unbelievable i love how flat this isn't is isn't that amazing yeah i'm super keen on having the uh, center of gravity really low on the trucks and that's really low <laughs> of course we were out uh early in wow. spring i think with the orange one and ripped around and uh really discovered how well that uh that uh, chassis and that body combination and and everything just really worked out well so Love this thing. So, Beautiful. yep. Also, uh, Range Rover and uh, Rover Classic, Rover Disco. Those are all setups already done. Yep. Um, and more to come. And a, and a bunch more to come. Yeah, that's for sure. I was instructed to drink this way because you can see you can see the logo better. I'm I'm left-handed. See what happens. So I gotta gotta do that. Anyways, by the way, the plaid. I'm digging the plaid. Is that plaid? That's of course plaid. it's plaid. That's plaid. Yeah, that's plaid. Anyways, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging the hat. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, that's that's new. That's new too. Yeah. This yeah. is our new uh, logo and branding and stuff, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's new. <laughs> uh, how was uh, everyone's? Uh, how was how was Santa? By the way, like we really didn't even get into yeah. Santa and what he, what. What was under the tree for you? RC related, of course. So we're filming this right after Christmas, by the way. Yeah, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah. Was that something to do with Santa? Uh, that was uh, a trade. <clears throat> um, and I ended up with uh, with that and another uh, vehicle. But um, Santa does trades now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. I, it's uh, not just the gift giving. He wants right. something back. <laughs> I'm really, uh, I'm really excited for that. That was, uh, so uh, we we'll might as well dive into that. The blockhead, um, to me, a wild one was something that I was really hoping to, to have. And when they first introduced it, I, I assumed, and I think it's still true, there's a limited run on those. Mm. However, the availability on them is far greater than I thought it would be. Oh. I, I thought, like, you know, there would be very few out there in the world, but it seems as though if you're interested in owning one you could probably get one um and so i managed to do this in a trade and was super excited to get it and uh so one of my highlights for 2021 was to be able to get a blockhead wild one it's so cool so awesome looking and um, i'm excited to build that <clears throat> and you won a vintage buggy award with your red and black wild one didn't you i did i did i won uh, i did that uh that was i think 2018 maybe 19 19 19 19 because we did the, the wild one is my absolute favorite to me a buggy yeah. period yeah yes. i don't even own one <laughs> well you should but it's the nicest looking package to me it's like it's it's really low it's kind of got a nice but not too wide stance and then it's got all the little cage work on it's just it's probably the most clean looking i find there are a, a couple of tamiya buggies where you can actually find the one-to-one -one almost you know, you know yes what I mean? so, yes yes I so for that it, in the buggy field uh for that i i like the realism of it and uh and that why and that's why it appeals to me yeah. so yeah uh i'm a, anyway so for 2021 one of my highlights was was acquiring um the the blockhead uh wild one i'm just tickled to be able to build that and have fun with that and um 
and 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 I rarely do uh, box art, but I will be doing box art on this one. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So cool. Yeah, um, that'll be on the channel at some point. We'll put that up but at some point. So that was a, a great highlight for me for sure. And and it was around Christmas time, so we'll we'll create that to Santa, <laughs> trading Santa for that or David Krieger. <laughs> David, you become Santa. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Anyways, good job, Dave. Mm. So uh, the other thing that we got into in twenty one was the drag car scene. Yes, yeah, for sure. And that was a bit of a surprise for me. Well, it started with the SRs, right? It started yeah. with the dirt cars. Yeah. And then uh, the drag car scene was already available when we got into the dirt car scene. Right. So where's you brought your dirt car? I did. I did bring it on up. So, we each have one of these. Yeah. Or two. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe three. I don't, I don't know. We're not counting. There's a few boxes. So, this is there. a really nice redo of the associated SR10. Yeah, I mean, I this is really, really nice. You can't see my face. This is really nice. So, good job. Thank you. And, again, it was something that we discovered this year that isn't tiny trucking, but it's super awesome. And really cool. I was I was really happy to discover that how awesome these platforms and these chassis and this sector of the RC world is, um, and yep. so and then of course it introduced us into the uh, which you guys have seen uh, on the channel before. This is my uh, to be built uh, Pinto body. Yeehaw! And I'll let the cat out of the bag a bit because I think we're having a bit of a build off. Are we not, or like we're sort of building these? Are we? I don't know. Uh, so, I'm not telling him what I'm doing. There you go. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm doing that. So why am I doing that? So um, Pearline released this body with uh, a sort of a red, white, and blue theme, which uh, I discovered was Bob Glidden's um, Pinto back in the 70s. And then I was, in, as a kid, I was into drag. I was into everything racing, and uh, including drag racing. And... Uh, Bob Glidden had an 87 or 88 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock car. And, oh, yeah. And, um, and and so this was his sponsorship back then. Yep. Now, I believe this one is specific to uh, a NASCAR back then, but it's the best thing I could find. This is super vintage for those that remember it this brand. It actually is yeah. old. Um, so I'm going to make this particular one... In keeping with uh, Bob Glidden's 88 or 87 Ford Thunderbird sponsored pro stock. But it'll be a Pinto. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm excited. So yeah, this this whole sector in 2021 was new to me. Yeah. Uh, or, or us in this particular yeah. of what we do. So we're really enjoying it. And that was a nice, uh, a fun opportunity this year to get into. I keep saying I need to get one of those chrome pens. I yeah. got to do yeah. that. Yeah, I've got to do that. Yeah. Next time we go down to Paris Junction Hobbies, yes, I will pick up chrome pens. You betcha. Uh, anyway, so yeah, what are we? We got into dirt racing, uh, dirt oval racing, and we're now into dragsters or funny cars. So that's awesome. Yeah, and those this are really so, popular. Now. Oh, it's so cool to run them. Yeah. And we like uh, we like laps and racing and stuff. Yeah. So that the off roading. I, there's, you know, what's funny, the, the more I think about it, the more I think that drag racing to me is not the competition like it was when we were racing buggies. Right. That's like hardcore, right? You set up to win. You practice your minimum lap times. You're obviously trying to win. These, for some reason to me, doesn't seem like competition. It just seems like a giant, hilarious, fun thing to do. <laughs> like, so fun. We all just go out on the street and we're just like, you know, I mean, it's so much fun. Right, I don't, true. if we had to get into competitive, like really like, you know, racing the tree or something like that, I think that would be kind of fun too. But it, we, we aren't organized enough to do it no. professionally. No. It's just, it's just a hoot of fun. And I, I, I find we laugh because yeah. I'm not very good at it. I don't no. know about you, but I well, can't, I can't keep the it straight. Car, yeah, the car's on the roof half the time. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Which, yeah. which makes me laugh. But um, even still, I mean, if we're no good at it, it doesn't really matter, right? It's, it's a group of guys and gals that are getting together and uh, having fun. And I think um, with, with the way we are today, you know, that's, that's such a, 
awesome thing to do is to be able to get together with some of your friends and uh, participate in, in your interests. And of course, our seeing is huge in our list and we have some close friends that we were able to do some drag racing and just giggle, just giggle. And that, that was yeah. a nice treat to do this year for sure. The other thing we started this year was the sled pulls. Drag, yeah, what do, you, yeah. what do you call it? Tractor pull, tractor but pulling, but with but trucks, right? With trucks, yeah, yeah. So that's that was my uh, drag sled, the flinger, pull. flinger, yeah, yeah, the flinger. So it was crazy. You need to put up footage of that, by the way. That, yeah, that we should actually. That footage. was a fun. That was a fun truck. Yeah, we'll, we we'll put that at the end of the video with the other stuff. It's amazing, and that that footage of that thing pulling a scale rig, it was just incredible. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. that was new for twenty one. Yeah, that was new. That was new. So we were we got together with a few people, and we went camping, right? And and with the camping, of course, we 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 brought all our RCs, and then we found a, we made a a little bit of a a pull area, and then one on True North RC has a pulling rig with Paris Junction, and we were able to have a little fun with that too. That so, was awesome. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I although we didn't get to travel, not the world, but I mean, we, we can say that. We've been t to Belgium and, and uh, a lot of places. We didn't necessarily get to do that this year. We did get to travel locally. And locally can be, what, eight or nine hours away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, well, for us, because if you don't know the Canadian geography, like between major cities is four or five hours. Yeah. Sometimes, you yeah. know, it's not uncommon to have an easy four-hour drive just to change cities yeah so for us to travel to you know places that are not far away we can drive seven or eight hours yeah <laughs> and still be within our own state or province oh right? easily so. yeah so there's because the place is so big canada yeah. is just so broad and stretched out and we got to uh we got up north on top of the great lakes this summer that was a, yeah. so much fun yeah and we did some RC boats. Okay. Yeah, that's true. We did. Yeah. 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 It Good was... time up at the lake. And and so I was just, although, you know, the traveling was limited this year, the traveling that we did do and the people that we did see was amazing. And, uh, and it was just really awesome to be around those people and to enjoy and to giggle and to love RCs and, and each other for that matter. Uh, it was really nice, uh, and I really enjoyed that. And and I miss the other side of it. I miss traveling abroad. I miss traveling to the United States. I miss all those people, all those friends. Um, and and so you know, although 2021 had some incredible times, I'm really looking forward to 2022 and so on, so we can do some of those other things. But yeah, 2021 was a lot of fun. Introduced us to a lot of new things, uh, which was a big surprise. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we did, in 21, we released a whole new line of axles. Mm -hmm. uh, with the C-Max 2, we, of course, we've been using these nylon printed uh, axles for, since 2014, I think. Wow, isn't that crazy? Isn't that? That's crazy. Yeah, it's been a long time. And the technology is only getting better, so even though we're using the same nylon uh, lasered axles, that these are better now than they were even five years ago. Yeah, I agree. So it's pretty amazing. So one of the new things that we've done in 2021 is we switched to high point gears for high pinion. So, you know, now our pinion uh, shaft is up high instead of center line on the axle housing. Um, we have, they're about the same size as our previous axles as far as as, as ring and pinion size they take up about the same amount of space so we haven't really gained any clearance or whatever underneath but the gearing ratio dropped in half so you know a c-max 2 has a 50 to 1 gear ratio that's low yeah isn't that so <clears throat> really good crawl control tons and tons of just crazy amounts of torque and uh and these have been exceptionally reliable the nice thing is now that we've actually had the design proofed out for for over a year now, mm -hmm. um, True North was testing those in 2020 for us. And so all through 2021 has really been the proving grounds for these new ST2 axles that we produced. And we've had no issues with them. 
So really, really happy to have some new axle designs coming out for those. Yep. And we're actually reintroducing our uh, Toyota radius arms All right. on the ST2 axles. <clears throat> that's right. Uh, early next year. So that's that's a nice kit. <clears throat> yeah, it's a it's a process for us. We want to make sure that whatever we release has actually been tested for a long time before we send it out to market. So. We were happy to have really positive test results with ST2 in 2021, mm -hmm. and uh, and there'll be a whole bunch more of these coming out in the next uh, the next quarter. So it's pretty exciting. Um, any particular releases from 2021 that that uh, you remember that you thought were pretty cool or that were on your bucket list? Or I have one that I'm still crying about. Mm. I bought a Kai truck. Truck. The little 12 scale WPL oh, right, cheese right. trucks. We oh, called yeah, them the cheese, cheese trucks. trucks. Right, right. The DL12 or 10? DL12 or whatever they were yeah, called. The, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I bought one and yeah. you bought one. A yeah. bunch of our friends bought one. And mine never showed yeah, up. Yeah, it never showed up. That's right. Yeah. It like was so disappointing and I haven't gotten one yet. And no. I was like, man, this is the cutest little thing. I yeah. have to do this. Yeah, they are pretty cool. And uh, all that fire burnt right out because mine never showed up. Mm -hmm. So. Well, they, they're doing that van thing now, right? That, uh, and that was a good thing I waited. Yeah, yeah I was, so you I was get gonna, one of those. Yeah, I was going to just go buy another cheese truck, but now they have a cheese van. Yes. So I think I'm going to go after the cheese van because it's not a truck. <laughs> I think you should do that. Uh, for me, of course, was the blockhead, but there's another one that really interested me, and it's uh, it's a low-cost one, but the the Glacier square body. Oh, you know that one eighteenth. Uh, so that's an FMS uh, production. Yeah. That uh, was then branded by Horizon Hobby now, so you can buy it through all the Horizon okay. Hobby outlets. Okay. As a licensed Chevy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it had all the logo, or it's special. Oh, it's it had nice. the logo on the front. It's I haven't nice. seen one in person, but yeah, I, it looks like something that uh, this, this year that well came out. Well out. Yeah, that looked really cool um, and very interested. Good price point. And, uh, Two places I can recommend to go check that out at Amp Pro Engineering. Mm. He's made some new wheels for them that are the right oh, really? offset yeah. and super nice. And also, uh, you can check out Josh's channel at RC Every Day. That's right. Yeah, he's done lots a of cool stuff. stuff yeah, to do with those trucks. Um, and what I think is important is you get driving footage. So, like if you're if you're I I do this when I'm researching to see if I want to buy a new RC. I go look at people's actual driving footage, and see if it's something that I think I would like to stare at for Good the point. next for you know twelve hours or, or whatever for the next trailing year. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Because. Yeah, I agree. If it's kind of bouncy, it's stupid, and I'm not interested, then I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. Even if the truck looks amazing, like, I don't really want to have too many shelf queens, to be honest. I like to put some wheel time on them. Yeah, I agree. I think that's, uh, I, I wanted to mention that for for 2021, I don't know if it was more time uh, available, but some of the uh, don't scratch the paint or the, the shelf queens came off the shelf that's this true, year. That's true, though. You know? Yeah, that is true. Uh, we took some that either had one or two runs and then sat yeah. on the shelf and then we took them off the shelf and ran them and i find that this year whether it was just availability or or it was just the flavor of the year but a lot of the uh, the ones that i had not driven or weren't going to drive came off the shelf and ended up putting some some trail time in which was awesome it was just really neat to see them as you say, see the move and see the suspension and see them actually work instead of just, you know, sitting on a shelf um, behind us. So yeah. I really enjoyed that. That was a really neat, uh, neat feeling to see some of those shelf queens end up on the trail. So that was a big thing for me in 2021 too. Shelf queens look good in videos. They do. They do. Yeah. And just not sitting on a shelf. You have to drive them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Even if you DSDP them, right? Like yeah. a, don't scratch the paint stuff. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're careful and, 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 you know, like you respect it, which obviously it's on a shelf, so you must respect it and you can put it out there. It's, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I can think of the, uh, the XJ, the, the black XJ that made it out this year. A few times. Yeah. I took the, that's the, right. The blazer out a few times this year. So there were some, there were a few that, uh, I even took the, um, Javelin, which I did race once last year. 
but it sat on a shelf the whole time. And then at uh, one of our local events, I raced the uh, Kyosho Javelin around. So, yeah, I took a lot off the shelf this year and ras raced them. So it was awesome. <laughs> Rast them. <laughs> Just give her. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Uh, okay, so 2022 coming up, eh? 22. Yeah, crazy. Well, I think it's going to be another incredible year here at GCM. Uh, what do you think 2022 is going to bring for you? Uh, well, we're already in the planning stages of a pretty significant event in Ontario. Yeah, that's true. Scale truck event. Yeah, yeah, that's great. We went and saw that. We hope that uh, <clears throat> everything permitting, we'll, that'll be something that we'll be able to organize. Um, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, me too. So now we've got uh, we've got a venue in southern Ontario. Mm -hmm. We have a hobby shop participation. We've got uh, food, bathrooms, a lot of stuff that people need on the multi-day events. Yep. And uh, I think because the location is in southern Ontario, we will probably have a pretty significant pile of dudes and ladies show up. I hope so to uh, run their scale trucks. So yeah. we're very excited about that. Um, we're trying to decide, we kind of went retro with the logo. Yeah. And the for 22, and maybe you guys should chime in on the YouTube comments and decide for us, do you want us to do a severe retro, like 2017 style adventure series, or should we do the expedition series event? Or, because we have options. Yeah, yeah. I like these ones. These are limited run, or we'll see what they become. But uh, yeah, there's definitely some some options, and some input would be would be favorable for sure. <clears throat> Dan uh, sent Dan found me some adventure series event cards from East Coast of Canada. So when when did we do that one? That was uh, I think 2018, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 2017. It might even remember. have been earlier than that, honestly. Yeah, I think it was, actually. It was but 2017. 17? I think so. So, I was like, wow, did we actually score all this stuff? It was really cool, actually, because I had forgotten how much of an evolution that event had become mm -hmm. uh, in its in its tenure. So, now we're talking, maybe we'll do an old school adventure, adventure series again. I like that idea. Yeah, you're so, right. Because that's the, been a few with a years. retro kind of logo, yeah, 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 and we'll just yeah. kind of go yeah, way yeah. back. We'll go old, super old school for next year. Yeah, I like that. I, I think that's a good theme. Uh, probably some some cool swag that goes along with sort of each sort of retro thought that we have, starting with these ones. True. And um, yeah, yeah, it's um, we're still here. We're still having fun. We're still discovering. We're still reaching. You know, at some of the things that we did in the past and looking forward. Lots going on. It's it's uh, it's awesome. Of course, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully getting to USDE this year. That's that's the next thing uh, for me. Um, uh, eight. We, set, don't six, say eight. that. Don't say that because I have lots of stuff to do. Okay, soon. We'll just soon. don't count the weeks. It's too close. Soon. Yeah. Soon. Soon. <clears throat> uh, yeah. 2021 was awesome, and 2022 will be awesome too. Uh, we have a big video recap for you guys right now, so enjoy the next few minutes of uh, just snippets of crazy stuff that we did over the year. Uh, if you guys did a 2021 recap video, we want to see it too because of course, we love of your RC stuff. So you bet. link in the comments. I'll be sure they don't go into the spam folder, and uh, we can share our videos around on the on the channel and on the 2021 recap. You betcha. And I just want to thank everyone for watching these videos. <laughs> As to why, I'm not sure, but thank you for watching them. And we and, thank our sponsor. And we thank our... I drank our sponsor. Mm. Um, just thanks, man. This is awesome. I love our seeing, as you can probably tell through our passion. Uh, and it's and it's so much fun to enjoy with others. So thank you, everyone. Mm. Thanks, everyone. Thank you to the uh, GCM Builders Group on Patreon. I'm going to put all your names across the bottom of the ticker here. And uh, thank you guys so much for being a part of that community. The feedback there is really fun, actually, and it inspires me to continue with the design work and get some new stuff made up. So I'm enjoying that a lot. And uh, we have uh, some pretty cool footage here for you guys, so enjoy. See you next year. Take care.
Thanks for watching, guys. You bet. Talk soon, eh? Take care. Bye-bye.